Hi, it's Karen with Living Our Dream Homestead, where today we're going to be making homemade pizza burgers. So let's go ahead and start over here at the stove. We're going to take about a pound of hamburger. I've put my beef uh, in the frying pan. You can use ground beef, uh, ground chuck, or ground sirloin. I did put in a little bit of olive oil in the bottom of the frying pan. You could also use canola oil. Then I added in a half a cup of chopped onion. Now I ended up using a yellow onion. And now we're gonna go ahead and brown the meat with the onions. Um, I have my heat on about medium high heat and we'll cook it until it's done. The beef is all done. I went ahead and drained the fat and now we need to add in some pizza sauce. Uh, this is, if I'm pronouncing it right, I don't know if this is Ra Raoul's uh, pizza sauce. If you have homemade, that would be even great to add. I'm gonna go ahead and add that into my beef right now. Now this container is about a 13 ounce container. Um, I would do at least a 10 ounce container. Uh, that way you have enough, you know, sauce for your meat. Go ahead and stir this in here. Added in one teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of dried oregano, half a teaspoon of dried thyme, a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder. And now we're going to go ahead and cook this, let all those spices soak up into the meat for 15 to 20 minutes. And then I'll show you what it looks like when it's all put together. I'm also going to make some homemade potato wedges uh, or you can call them homemade fries. Um, I went ahead first and sprayed my pan. Now you can use a baking sheet. That is totally fine. Um, I'm just using a cake pan uh, because I'm only going to be doing one potato. But like if you're wanting more than one potato, I would use the sheet. I have sprayed uh, the pan with some olive oil and I'm going to go ahead and I wash my potato and I'm going to go ahead and cut it up with the skin on. Now again, if you want to leave the skin off, you're welcome to take it off, but I'm going to go ahead and leave it on and I'll go ahead and cut it now. I ended up putting them actually on a cookie sheet because the potato was so large. Um, again, the cookie sheet has been sprayed with olive oil. I cut up my potato and then I rinsed it with water. I patted it dry with a paper towel and then I went ahead and drizzled some just olive oil over the potato and then I went ahead and put it on a cookie sheet. I'm going to go ahead now and put it in the oven at 450 degrees and we're going to first bake it for 20 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and season these uh, potato wedges with salt and garlic powder. Again, whatever, um, you know, seasonings you want to put on. And I'm going to bake it for at least another maybe seven to eight minutes. The fries are all done. If you cut your fries a little bit thinner, you might want to go ahead and cut back the time. Uh, these ended up going uh, 25 minutes and I took it out because as you can see that one is a little bit too brown there for my liking. Um, if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please hit the button down below. I'll go ahead and put this together with the pizza burger and show you what it looks like. Hi, we're back. The pizza burgers are all done along with the homemade potato wedges. Now, I usually go ahead and top off my pizza burger uh, with some shredded cheese. You could do, um, this is Colby Jack for my husband. Um, you could do cheddar cheese would be okay. And that kind of adds a little extra something there. And you can put serve it on hamburger buns. There's the potato wedge, wedges. Sometimes I top off my potato wedges with like some cheese. I don't know if you can see that there. It looks so good. I forgot to mention that the uh, pizza sauce is all natural. There's absolutely uh, no preservatives in it. I actually used to use this myself and eat it um, a few years back. It is an excellent meal. This is something quick that you can fix for dinner or even for a crowd.
uh, you know, there's quite a bit of uh, left over there for some more uh, pizza burgers. Well, thank you for watching. This was Karen with Living Our Dream Homestead, and I hope you have a good day.